Welcome back guys, so today we are back again in Project Bucky 2. So yeah, today I have some good news because um, Jello, or the developers I think, I think it's not just Jello but the developers, basically uh, they released an update that's called Artifacts. Basically now we have uh, things called Artifacts in the game and I will be telling you guys um, everything you need to know about the Artifacts because I have my sources, um, yeah I have my, I have my sources okay. So my sources told me, I'm just gonna go check my Discord right now, right here. So my sources told me um, that there are right now currently about 5 of them. they are currently right now um, 5 of them, or 5 or 4 are relics. And so basically, you can get the relics in public servers or in private servers, but um, it takes so long to spawn in private servers that one dude even waited 5 hours and still got no relics but it's actually possible to get um, in public servers too but it despawns after 10 minutes and people are searching for it too so it's very very hard and basically the relics are not super broken from what I'm hearing but it's good so uh, let me let me um, let me um, go check my source okay so there's um, so the cup so the uh, Artifacts that we have right now are Retsu Arm. I don't know what the Retsu Arm looks like But um, the Retsu Arm says that it boosts Chinese martial art Okay, Retsu Arm boosts Chinese Chinese martial arts like Shayori and probably Retsu, Retsu as well So the Retsu Arm is an artifact and I've seen one person get it. He's told me that he got it um, around here the, the garbage can around here yeah, around here he told me that he got it around here and when you're close to the when you're close to the artifacts it will uh, play a song so that you know that you're close to them basically yeah but it's very hard to find I think he found it around here or something like that I'm sorry guys for the dogs they're very very noisy but um can't stop them okay and I'm not gonna edit this video because I absolutely hate editing okay so that's the first style Retsu arm it boosts Chinese martial arts like Shayori and the next one is Sai Hand. Okay, I don't know what Sai Hand is. It's probably um. Wait, let me go search that. Uh, Sai Hand. Sai Baki. I'm gonna go search him. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Who, who is Sai? I don't know who Sai is. I don't know who Sai is, but I don't know who Sai is. But basically, um, Sai Hand. It boosts AOE damage. So like um, AOE damage such as um, what's an example of AOE damage? Oh yeah, an example of AOE damage would be um, an example of AOE damage would be an example of AOE damage would be um, would be some moves from the Akuma, the Akuma spin move thing. I think that's an AOE damage because it hits everyone around you. So that Saihan, it boosts AOE damage. So that one's kind of good. I don't know how to get it though, but um, from what I've heard, it spawns around the map. So you should just go around the map. Uh, use probably speed injector and um, make like a f make like a full agility build so you can like dash super quickly. And you can, it, it takes some time to spawn. So it spawns in public servers and private servers, but it takes longer in private servers. My friend waited for like two hours and got nothing. So I just recommend. It's very hard to get because um, it's sort of it's made to be unique. Okay. So we got Sai Hand and we also have Hanma Blood. Okay, so this Hanma Blood, it boosts it boosts all uh, the Hanma fighting styles. It includes Judo, um, Pit Fighting, uh, I mean Judo, Total Fighting, and Pit Pit Total Violence, which is um, I don't know. I think that's um, Yuji Hanma's uh, fighting style and Prison Baki. So basically, Judo, Yuji Hanma style, and um, Prison Baki and Total Fighting Hanma Baki. Um, it all will get boosted. The damage will get boosted, I think. It also um, increases the... No, no. It just increases the demon back. So basically, the Hanma blood um, increases the demon back duration and damage. So, Hanma blood is gonna be good for uh, Judo mains because Judo is already overpowered. It's it's so crazy for combos. And with this Hanma blood, it's gonna be even more busted. Now, um, now we have Musashi Spine. Okay. So, um, Musashi Spine is, I think, 
Um, I don't know where to find Musashi Spine. Nobody has found it yet, but I think Musashi Spine can basically be found in. I think you can fight the boss and get him, or no, I think it just spawns around the map basically. So you should just like um circle around this map. Basically, I I have not yet uh, seen anyone get it. I don't know where it is. I'm not entirely sure where it is, and I'm not entirely sure how to get it as well. But I know it just spawns around the map. I know it just spawns around the map. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna try and get it to be honest, because I'm not. Uh, I'm not really. Um, I'm not really willing to like wait for five hours. Actually, I can maybe because um, if you guys don't know, I made another account just for Deep Woken and another account just for Project Bucky Two, so I can make um, um, I can play Deep Woken while playing Project Bucky Two as well. Yeah, that's a Chad move, bro. So um, okay, right now um, that's all I know about it. So those are these the um the relics. So there's currently like four. No, not four. I mean not five. It's currently only four relics. Retsu's arm, Sai Hand, Han of Blood, and Musashi Spine. They all spawn around the map. And also the the aura of your relic. So when you get the aura, it will have I mean when you get the relic, it will have like an aura. And that aura is like based on your color. So a huge like um thanks to my friend here, uh, just a random dude. I don't know what his name is in game, but he's basically he he hooked me up with all the information needed. So that's really cool. You hooked me up with all the information needed, which is like really really cool. I wouldn't I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't know it if it, I wouldn't know all of this without him. So thank you very much, to that dude. So those are the um four Velix right now. Uh, so those are the four Velix, and I think there will be more Velix in the future. Um, I don't know, maybe like a Nico style cape or something like that. There might be more Velix in the future. There might actually be more Velix right now, but these. These four are the only relics that I know as of now. So basically, um, it spawns around the map. You, it spawn, it can spawn in public servers and private servers. But in private servers, it takes ridiculously long. Or maybe my friend just sucks at looking at looking. But um, it's it's basically like a random chance. Like you know, like how there are protein shakes that can spawn around the map and gifts that can spawn around the map. It's just like that, but like rarer, like a lot rarer. So yeah, that's I think that's everything that I know for um I think that's yeah, I think that's everything I know for like the for the um for the for the uh relics, but I think I might make another video like once I have someone who has it so I can maybe showcase perhaps something like that. But um if there's nobody then um, I might not Oh uh, yeah, I'll probably make a video on on it again though, but probably later once I find someone who has it. But if I don't find someone who has it, well, that sucks because it's kind of rare, guys. Really, it's it's kind of really rare. So yeah, okay, guys. Thank you guys for watching. That's it for this video, <laughs> and um, I hope you guys liked it a lot because um nobody's made a video on relics yet. I plan on make another video on it, and I will. But um, just uh, wait for me. Just I mean, just um, just uh, I just wait till I have like more information on. On the relics. Okay, so that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out.